many of you out there, uh, like me, are entrepreneurs. Uh, but here's a question for you. Are you a faith-driven entrepreneur? Are you a faith-driven entrepreneur? You know, when you look at, at, at answer, your answer to that, what I'm getting at is, do you uh, believe that you should incorporate your religious beliefs and values in the way that you run your business, right? I think you should have that discussion with yourself, your family, your employees, if you want. But in a way, it's a way of living out your faith in the professional sphere. I'm, I'm hoping that you live it out in your personal sphere, but what I'm suggesting here is you also live it out in the professional sphere. So here are some ways that you might think about your answer to this. Start off praying. I'm a praying person. And so running a business can be quite a challenge. Many people approach assistance with uh, board members or colleagues. But do you seek guidance from a higher power? Right? Praying for, praying for guidance from a higher power. That's what I'm suggesting here. Your, your religious beliefs and your business conduct, if possible, should be aligned. Well, one obvious aspect that I'm hoping makes sense to you is that you should run your business with integrity. You need to be transparent in your business practices. You need to treat your employees and your customers as fair as possible. Being mindful about how your employees and the community perceives you. And, you know, while I'm on that, you don't want to lose sight of how your business affects the community. I've traveled all over the United States. I've lived in various parts of the United States. And one of the things that's rather interesting to me is when there are a lot of businesses in an area, how uh, is that community affected by the businesses in that particular area? Okay. Uh, another consideration is, is giving back then to that community. Find ways to give back through your business, maybe through charitable donations, volunteering to do a workshop. I do a series of workshops that I entitle Healthy Business, Healthy Bodies, Healthy Lives. Not workshops, but seminars. I do a lot of seminars in my uh, Chicagoland area. You should lead by example. Living out your beliefs and values in the way you conduct your business. People are watching you. Your role model to your employees, your customers, and your community, whether you whether you think so or not, people are watching you. And here's something that's rather sensitive. A lot of people don't like mixing uh, business and, and religion. So uh, I'm suggesting perhaps uh, you use your business as a platform for ministry. I, I've worked at various firms, for instance, that started the day off praying and then they went through their day. Uh, it became controversial and so the company didn't want to close it down completely. So they had special rooms assigned for praying and uh, then allowed people to, uh, to worship the way they wanted to do. Uh, at the business site. So rather, rather interesting. Okay, so my point here is that being a faith-based entrepreneur is, is more than making a profit. It's about finding ways to live out your faith in a professional sphere and making a positive impact on the world. So I'm just hoping through this video that I've encouraged you to do such a thing. All right, I am Dr. Hamilton. Thank you for listening.